Good afternoon. Thousands of yellow vest protesters marched on Saturday through Paris and other French cities for the ninth straight weekend, denouncing President Emmanuel Macron's economic policies. Protesters clashed with police during protests in Paris, Bourges, Bordeaux, Marseille and Toulouse. Scuffles between police and activists erupted near the Arch de Triomphe, with tear gas, water cannons and flashballs used to push back some people throwing rocks and other objects at police. The movement demanding wider changes to France's economy appeared to gain new momentum this weekend, with the French Interior Ministry saying about 32,000 people appeared for demonstrations across France at midday. China's state news agency People's Daily reported a coal mine roof collapse in northwest China's Shanxi province, which killed 21 miners on Saturday. The paper added the accident occurred at Baiji Mining's Lijiaogu Mine in the city of Shenmu at around 4.30 p.m. local time on Saturday, with 87 people still underground. The city government said in a statement that 66 miners were rescued, but 21 were still trapped and were later confirmed to have died. The disaster is the deadliest reported so far this year in China's coal industry, known for its poor safety record. India's opposition leader Rahul Gandhi said the party will, simply, will simplify the goods and services tax GST and seek to attract foreign investment if voted back to power in the upcoming May general election. The GST, which was launched in 2017, was at first lauded as Prime Minister Narendra Modi's biggest economic reform as it unified India's economy. However, its chaotic implementation led to millions of job losses and hurt small businesses, hampering Modi's re-election chances. Rahul Gandhi said in a press conference that they will take rational economic decisions, restructure the GST and embrace foreign investment. He also said his main priority would be to create jobs, simplify the GST and rebuild confidence in institutions such as the Reserve Bank of India. That's all the news for now. I am Razi Ahmad. Thank you for watching.